Viewers, an extraordinary meeting of Arab League to discuss Libyan issue and to implement ceasefire in Libya was held. This meeting has come to an end. A resolution was passed at the end of this meeting. Now, what is the significance of this resolution? Is it binding upon GNA? What happened in the meeting? Which countries supported uh, Libya? Which countries voted against uh, this, this Cairo declaration? Uh, in, in this meeting, what happened in the meeting viewers? Firstly viewers, this body, Arab League, 22 member body, uh, Arab countries, they are part of Arab League, Turkey is not member of Arab League, Iran is not member of Arab League, uh, this meeting was held uh, via video link, foreign ministers of these Arab League countries, they attended this meeting, Libya, GNA first decided not to attend this meeting, meeting was postponed, but later GNA decided to attend this meeting, but for minister of GNA, he did not attend this meeting. Uh, instead, a low ranking official was uh, 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 the one uh, who represented GNA Libya in this meeting. Now, in the meeting viewers, a Libyan representative, he criticized uh, these Arab League countries. He said that where were these countries when General Hafter uh, was attacking Tripoli. Why didn't these countries call for ceasefire back then? Now when GNA is making gains, everyone is talking of ceasefire. And then viewers, when resolution was tabled uh, at the end of this meeting, four countries, they disagreed with one part of this resolution. And this one part was about adoption of Cairo Declaration to resolve Libyan conflict. Libya disagreed with this part of resolution. Uh, then Qatar and uh, uh, other countries, Somalia, they also stood by Libya and Tunisia too. So Libya, Tunisia, Qatar and Somalia, these four countries, they voted against this part of resolution which is about adoption of Cairo declaration uh, for resolution of this Libyan conflict. Now viewers, support of Qatar and Somalia is very understandable. Uh, Turkey has its military bases both in Qatar and Somalia. These two countries, they support uh, Turkey, they support uh, Libyan uh, GNA. Tunisia is a bit surprised uh, because uh, Turkey wanted the support of Tunisia when Turkey entered uh, Libya. But uh, Tunisia did not openly support uh, Turkey's entry in uh, Libya viewers. But here in this meeting, Tunisia supported uh, Libyan stance that Cairo Declaration should not be uh, adopted for the purpose of resolution of this conflict in uh, uh, Libya viewers. Now, if we sum up this meeting, uh, the resolution is not binding upon Libya because uh, they voted against it, GNA, Libyan uh, official. So, if a country votes against a resolution, it is not binding upon it according to Arab League rules. Uh, secondly, viewers, yes, Egypt has been partially successful in getting diplomatic support for its Cairo Declaration, 18 countries, they supported a Cairo Declaration for the resolution of Libyan conflict. So in the coming days, if Turkey decides to press ahead with its Sirat and Al-Jufra offensives, definitely there will be uh, diplomatic pressure upon Turkey and GNA. But these Arab League countries, they don't have any tremendous influence uh, to make any difference in, in Libya viewers. They have been doing uh, what they could have done, I mean UAE, Egypt, they have been backing Hafter.